Good evening, friends, family, viewers. Uh, I'm Beard Guy Guns and Gear. Before I start today's video, uh, depending on when you watch it, but it will be today for me and today for you when you watch it. It's like time travel. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to any current serving members as well as any veterans. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, like I said before in a couple other videos, I served. Uh, I started in the infantry and uh, bumped my head one too many times and went over to the Air Force and finished off there after 28 years of service. So if you're still serving, uh, God bless you. If you're a veteran, God bless you twice over. All right, so I wanted to do this video a long time ago, uh, but then I got the arrival of the Ruger Wrangler, which if you checked out, uh, it's a 22 revolver. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out now before you watch this video. Not that there'll be a comparison, but you'll know what I'm talking about. So I wanted to do this video and uh, finally I have decided I am going to do it today. So today we are going to look at the Glock 19X and you can see by just in the case, as soon as you get it, you kind of know, right? The case is different. Normally if you get a Glock, it's in a black case. This one is in that really beautiful I want to call it desert tan, flat dark earth, coyote, whatever you want to call it. It, it is a beautiful, even just the box. All right, so when you open it up, you basically get it like this, although I've removed the back straps already. I found one that fit for myself. Uh, and uh, so you get a little push rod, you get a brush, like a nylon brush, three magazines. Okay, as well as a charger. I've never actually used one of these. I know some people that do. There are better ones on the market than the one you get in it free with when you buy a pistol or receive a pistol. This is what I use for loading ammo. All right, so here it is, the Glock 19X. Either the most underrated or overrated of the Glock series, depending on which side of the fence you're on. Is it the best handgun in the world? No. I like it. And if you watch any other videos uh, regarding the Glock 19X, and any Glock actually, because there are better model Glocks than what I'm looking at today, but any Glock really, it doesn't do one thing perfect, it just does a whole bunch of things really well. And I guess you either like the look of them or you don't like the look of them. Personally, myself, I love the look of this 19X. I mean, just, just look at it. Look at it, look at it. Okay. It is a fantastic looking pistol, like I said. Front and back, side to side. There's nowhere you look at it where it's ugly. Not in my eyes, anyway. A lot of people might have different opinions about that, so. but uh, that's why it's called an opinion. Everybody's got one, everybody's entitled to. So let me give you a little backstory here about why I wanted to do a video on the 19X. Okay, I received one of these, and I, when I received, actually, it, it's kind of a funny story, but I bought um, a ticket into a draw. I already had a Glock. I didn't really need another Glock. As luck would have it, the stuff that I enter draws for, I never win, uh, uh, if I really want it. This one I didn't really want all that much, but I thought it was cool. I'm glad I entered that draw to get this pistol. So anyway, I won it in a draw, and uh, I find myself shooting this a lot more than I do the 17. All right, so what is the Glock 19X? Okay, the Glock 19X is Glock's very first ever uh, crossover pistol. And what do I mean by a crossover pistol? Well, it's a full-size frame, Okay, so from here down, full size, same as any other Glock 17 that you might see or, 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 or find or have in your collection. But the slide part is from the 19. Okay, so you uh, people that are watching from the US, uh, you'll be very familiar with the Glock 19. A lot of law enforcement uh, agencies carry it as well as uh, those states that allow ca concealed carry. A lot of people have gone over to the Glock 19 for a carry gun. The, the hand grip, if this was a Glock 19, the hand grip would be much shorter. And people were complaining that you can't get a full grip on it. Okay, But it's not a problem here in Canada because we don't have concealed carry. 
Okay, but if you're in the US and you're looking for a concealed carry gun, the Glock 19, you might have issues with it, okay? You have to kind of weigh your options. Do you want it to be a good concealed carry or do you want to be able to get your hand on it? Try it out, right? Let me know what, uh, what you guys think in the comments and uh, certainly let me know what you guys are carrying if you are in one of those states that has concealed carry or if you everyday carry. All right, so the Glock 19X, right? It, it's, is it just the coating that makes it stand out? No, but that's one of the things. What is this coating? And people, I've heard people call it Coyote. I've heard people call it the FDE, like the flat dark earth. Comparing it to one that's actual flat dark earth, it's not quite the same color. It's not bronze. Uh, I've heard people call it peanut butter or caramel, and it kind of looks like a cross between that, peanut butter and caramel but uh, you won't find this covering on anything else but Glock because this is Glock's proprietary uh, covering and it comes from their NPVD. What is NPVD? It's their new product venture development. Okay, so it's, I guess Glock decided, you know what, we don't need to go and find a, a company to do this coding for us. We'll figure it out ourselves. And uh, that's what NP, NPVD stands for. All right, so like I already said, it's 17 frame with a 19 slide. I'm going to talk about some of the differences you're going to have in Canadian firearms versus the U.S. version. Uh, one of them you're going to kind of notice right off the bat is the barrel protrudes slightly. Okay, so on a real Glock 19 uh, in the U.S., if they ship the, the real deal U.S. version over to Canada, it would be it would arrive prohibited because it has a 102 millimeter barrel. So how Canada got around that, or Glock for Canada got around that, is they put a 106 on it, and that brings in the restricted time frame. And again, I'm not talking about the, uh, the gun laws that are being uh, put into legislature right now and possibly could affect us, but this is at, when this arrived on my doorstep, this was a restricted firearm, 106 millimeter uh, barrel. Now the Glock 17 is a 114 millimeter barrel. Okay, so is there a big difference? No, not really. A couple of millimeters, that's it. Um, I've heard some people complain about the shorter slide because what that does is it shortens your axis for aiming, right? The longer, that's why it's a lot easier to aim a rifle because you have a rear sight way back near your eyes and you have the front sight somewhere in front of the the chamber or even way out on the end of the barrel if it's a long barrel where you can actually line up the two and you get very little movement very little movement means precise uh, point of aim when you squeeze that trigger and release around so the shorter a slide is the more for that error uh, that that movement error can come into play okay I don't think that's really, it, this firearm is designed way more accurate than the user. What I mean by that, if you clamp this into a vise, line it up on your target, even with the sights on it, it's gonna hit the bullseye every single time. I am not, okay? So this firearm is way more accurate than me or any other user. Okay, so some people might be asking, where did the Glock 19X actually come from? Well, it was uh, basically the US military they had their M9, their, their old M9, kind of like the Canadians uh, Browning High Power that is, was, still in service uh, since the 50s. It was the Beretta metal frame, full frame uh, military firearm. Okay, they get used, abused, and uh, probably not very well taken care of um, over the years and years and years of service. Okay, it's still a good firearm but the US military decided that they need to replace the M9. So they said, we're sending out a, a contract bid. All the handgun companies basically jumped on top of it because here a military contract like that is big business for them. So what they had to do was basically come up with a pistol or submit a pistol that already existed that met a whole bunch of uh, must haves for the US military. Okay, and this is where we get this model, all right? So it already comes with uh, night sights, as you can see. Okay, that's kind of a, a, a different, that's, that's where Glock veered off on the design and the release of this one, right? Because the night sights, before that, they had their really, they were terrible. 
okay? It was, the, it was only Glock that was doing that, but it was basically a, a white U with a dot for the blunt front blade sight, and they called the rear a bucket. And they said, it's easy to shoot, just put the drop in the bucket. It was an awful sight. And I don't know anybody that's actually running factory Glock sights on a Glock. Okay, I've changed mine on my 17. Uh, I'm using Warren Tactical on that. But these ones are, are really easy to use. They're metal instead of chintzy plastic, front and rear. Okay, so that was obviously part of the contract submission for the uh, US military. Uh, if you look, you have a slide lock on the left and right. Okay, that's different for Glock. Usually you have it on one side and I call it a slide lock because it's not a slide release. This is your slide release, okay? Everybody should be working that action with your hand, either in a hover hand grip, or I know a lot of you, a lot of you guys do the Ipsic shooting and stuff, like to look cool in John Wick style up here, but I prefer it back here because you can get a good uh, purchase on it. Okay, uh, one thing you might notice, differing from other uh, previous versions is there's no hand grooves, okay? They decided to get rid of the hand grooves. I kind of like the hand grooves, uh, the finger grooves. I mean, if they're not there, it's not gonna really upset me. I mean, if you really wanted to be uh, particular about it and set your pistol up away, go get yourself a hold grip, put it on there. you be a nice rubber grip, right? These are decent. The hand grips on this are decent. It's, uh, you know, it's textured well, you can get a good, you can get a good grip on it. You'll notice that there's a thumb groove on both sides as well. Okay. Take it or leave it. I don't know. I don't really notice it's there. And if it wasn't there, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd miss it. Do I use it? Yeah, my my thumb kind of sits there. So, I guess I use it. Uh, so, what else is specifically military in design about this? Well, we got this little lanyard loop back here that you can uh, remove if you want. It doesn't bother me. Okay, I, I, I've kept it there, but I know a lot of people that have gone in and popped this thing out and put a cap over it. That's fine. If you want to do that, that that's up to you. Um, set your pistol up the way you want. The other thing you'll notice is the front. Okay, it's got a very, 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 like a grooved nose to the slide here, and I'll point to it. Okay, that's something they specifically did for the US military because uh, US military said we want something that we can get in and out of the holster. So they put these, they're really angled back, and that's probably the best way to look at it right there. And that's for ease of getting in and, in and out of the holster. Okay. Uh, it does have a front rail on it, so you can put a flashlight, laser, people are going to run flashlights probably. Uh, and I said it's got the night sight, night sights, um, as far as stripped down, it is the same as all the other ones, although I will say I wish they would do something about this, because it is awful trying to get fingers into this. It doesn't want to right now. Um, Glock, I'll say that about this particular Glock. I have Glock 17, like I said, it's a Gen 3. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, in my humble opinion, when they came out with the other uh, generations, they basically took everything that wasn't wrong with it and fixed it. So this has probably got one of the nicest triggers stock that I have ever seen from Glock, okay? It's crisp. It's just a little over five pounds, maybe 5.5, 5.9 pounds. And that was one of the things they did for the US military contract submission as well, was improve the trigger. They also put a, a match grade uh, barrel. Now, what does a match grade barrel mean for you and me? Probably not very much. We're not gonna get the benefit of that um, unless you're a really, really good shooter. But I'll show you. This is another one that they put in for this particular model, okay? It's a dual spring assembly, okay? It helps return the, sl the slide to its uh, original position. Now, it, it, and this is the other thing I love about Glock, right? Simplicity. I mean, there's your Glock. 
It's basically stripped and, a, a, and ready for cleaning, care, and lubrication. You can see this one here is pretty slimy because I haven't uh, gone to the range in a while. So, but Glock will run. Okay, it's not fussy about ammunition. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, abuse, and I would never abuse my pistols. Uh, we pay too much for them. This one here was going for about $1,100 when it was brand new. There's some rumors actually for a while that they were gonna stop making the Glock 19X. It's only because the company in Georgia uh, that was producing Glock 19X basically shut down production. But it is still being made and produced in Austria. You can go to their website today, again, if you're fortunate enough to be able to buy firearms, handguns, um, you can go order one today. Okay, so it will take, obviously, the 19, and people were talking about like this little, like piece here in the front, you know, it, you could catch your your fingers or your palm on it. I mean, I, I don't know how you would do that if you're indexing a magazine properly. I, I don't know how you would pinch that, but some people complained about that. The nice thing about this pistol is as well, you can use a, a Glock 17 Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, I'm not positive about. Um, I think it depends on the really, and you can tell it's got a nice firm snap in there and a good release. Okay, so you can use any of the magazines that you had for your previous Glock 17s or whatever. This is a great pistol. It's, and again, I'll say it, it by no means is it the best. It's the best one I have, I think. Your arm feels great when you shoot it. It fits the hand well, it presents out well. That's something that Glock really does a good job of. I mean, without the slide, it's really easy to see, but look how high up, and I've got probably the large or extra large back strap on there, which has that little extended beaver tail. Um, look how high up you can get your hand. And I mean, it's not interfering with the slide, and that's what you want to do. So, because when you present out, you want to be able to look as close to those sights. You want that bullet coming as close from the slides and as close to the top of your hand. And that's what Glock does really well. Again, just in summary, I, I love this pistol. I think it's, if it's not the best Glock that's out there, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm glad I got it. Okay, if I had to choose a firearm that I was going to carry every day, if we had those kind of laws and we were allowed to do that, um, I don't know, I, I would probably carry a Glock. I mean, I've seen the torture test, go watch the videos, uh, they're out there, people, you know, absolutely abuse these things and they run. Yeah, this is the Beard Guy, Guns and Gear, and this is my review slash take on the 19X Canadian version and uh, why I think it's a fine firearm. If you're lucky enough to have one in your collection, good on you. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you don't like about it. If you like the video, if you want to see more like this, click like. Please subscribe. And uh, if you don't like it, that's fair too. I mean, I'm not perfect at this, but I would appreciate if you'd leave a comment letting me know how I can improve to suit uh, you guys better. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good night.